morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs, and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We want to be your go-to source for all things health and nutrition. Let us help you change your life today. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or questions about ingredients, formulations, something you may have heard about, read about, something somebody might have told you, 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, our true skin health products, or if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you'd like to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the Bright Side or recommended on the Bright Side or Beyond Tangy Tangerine or Healthy Start Pack, any of the uh, TMR products, Total Meal Replacement products, you can give us a call as well, 844-236-6010. I'm sorry, you can call the Bright Side Vent phone team at 866-735-2470. If you have questions about the products, you can call us at 844-236-6010. But if you want to order any of the Longevity products, please call the Bright Side Vent phone team at 866 735 2470. That's 866-735-2470. You can also order products right off the website's brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for a one time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business or in thank you checks associated with having your own business. You can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, make some money at the same time, or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, you can do that as well for a one-time $25 fee. Call 866-735-2470 for more information or head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com for more information. And if you want to purchase our uh, True Skin Health products, Go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our retinol 5% gel, Truth Retinol 5% gel, made with a whole bunch of premium vitamin C in our transdermal delivery matrix, and that's it. Vitamin C, retinol, our transdermal delivery matrix, no preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, silicon, oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in our Truth Retinol 5% gel in any of our Truth Treatment products, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. If you're dealing with burnt skin, broken skin, or if you have a sunburn, I designed, I formulated our, our uh, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream for people who had eczema or burns. You can also take a look at our Truth Transdermal Sea Balm and our Truth Transdermal Sea Serum, voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar Magazine. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right. Welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. Last time we spoke, we were talking about the importance of veggies. In my opinion, all, all meals should begin with vegetables. This does three things for us. First of all, it, it assures that you're going to get 
enough veggies. If you eat your veggies at the beginning of the meal, when you're hungry, you'll definitely get enough veggies. If you wait till the middle of your meal, at the end of your meal, you probably aren't going to eat as much vegetables. So start your meals off with veggies to make sure that you're getting enough veggies. If you start your meals off with veggies, you're going to get full. Veggies contain fiber. That'll fill you up, so you'll find you're eating less food. And something very interesting happens when we eat high-quality foods. There's a psychological phenomenon that takes place where we're less likely to eat crappy foods. Try it. Try just having a, 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 you know, do something quick. Just microwave some frozen veggies, some frozen broccoli. Put some butter on top. Put some salt on top. And see, just notice how subtly, at least, you're less likely to eat cherry pie or candy or cake or whatever your favorite junk food is. There's something that happens in our brain when, when, we, when we send it messages that we're eating healthy, that we're doing something healthy for, for ourselves. Same thing when you exercise. The more you exercise, the less likely you are to eat crappy food, the less likely you are to do bad things, things that don't serve our health. The more you pay attention to your health, the more you do things for your health, the less likely you're going to be to do things that are not, that don't promote health. That's based on this psychological phenomena called cognitive dissonance. Dissonance meaning different, cognitive meaning the brain. Cognitive dif uh, dissonance is when the brain senses there's something different about what you're doing that doesn't quite fit in with other things that you're doing. So when you eat veggies, in order to prevent cognitive dissonance, the brain hates this, this kind of dissonance or this when two things contradict each other. So when you eat veggies, the brain will be like, oh, no, no, you don't want junk food. We're eating healthy now. It's kind of a little psychological trick that you can play on yourself and starting off your meals with veggies will make it less likely that you're going to eat unhealthy foods. Starting your meals off with unhealthy foods, on the other hand, will make it more likely that you're going to perpetuate uh, or continue eating foods that aren't healthy for you. So start your meals, uh, start all meals off with veggies. It'll ensure that you get enough veggies. It'll fill you up, and it will also make it more likely that you're going to continue eating healthy. Veggies also contain many important nutrients. Specifically, veggies contain energy nutrients. When we eat uh, veggies, depending on when they've been picked, they contain a certain subtle energy that it can be considered a type of life force. And this life force is expressed chemically in the form of the B vitamins and the electrolytes. In fact, the B vitamins, talk about the electrolytes here in a, in a minute, but the B vitamins can be thought of as your life energy vitamins. All the vitamins have certain kind of roles that they play. Vitamin C is the primal panacea. It's good for everything immune system, connective tissue building. It's a stress management vitamin. The B vitamins are your life energy vitamins. Your vi vitamin E is a protecting vitamin. Vitamin K is a building vitamin along with vitamin A. Vitamin D is a well-being vitamin. All the vitamins have a certain role to play. And the B complex are, uh, and they're called the B complex because they're found in, ener in, uh, in nature as a complex. You never find just one B vitamin in nature. They're all, they all kind of exist as a complex even though we isolate them as B1 and B2 and B3, etc. They all kind of exist as a complex. And this, the B complex can be thought of as your life energy vitamins. They carry life energy. The energy production machinery in the cells, those are called the mitochondria. You've probably heard about those, and you're going to hear more and more about the mitochondria because these days there's mitochondrial medicine and there's nutrition that's specifically designed to help the mitochondria and the mitochondria are thought uh, mitochondrial aging is thought to be behind cell death and how we age so you're going to be hearing more and more about the mitochondria the mitochondria produce energy and they depend on the b vitamins to do that the B vitamins feed energy into the mitochondria, and the mitochondria turn that into cellular energy, especially vitamins B1, B2, and B3. That is thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin. These little chemical ent entities, B1, B2, and B3, are part of the energy-producing machinery. Without them, cells cannot do their work. Remember, all disease is cell disease, so keeping that cell healthy and keeping that cell energized is super-duper important, and B1, B2, and B3 are your cell's major energy vitamins. They're the mitochondria's major energy vitamins. Without them, cells can't do their work. Without them, disease is inevitable, especially heart disease and especially brain disease. The brain and the heart, remember, are using up energy more than any other systems in the body. And that means under conditions of B vitamin deficiency, heart and brain disease are especially likely. Also, skin diseases, by the way, are more likely under B1, B2, and B3 deficiency states. 
All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 236 6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll take a quick commercial break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, and 24 7 on our archive pages brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. If you miss a program, they're all up. Six years plus of free good health information. We've got search engines up so you can search particular programs if you miss if you miss a show, if you want to review a show, or if you want to direct a customer, friend, client, family member, loved one to a specific topic, head to brightsideben.com or benfuchsarchives.com and take a look at our take a look at our website and our search engine. We've got Blog posts and news stories up at brightsideben.com, also criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can purchase Longevity products off the websites as well. And, of course, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off the websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business. Earn thank you checks and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you don't want to be in business, if you're not an entrepreneur or not entrepreneurially entrepreneurially minded, you can just get your products at the wholesale price and enjoy tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $25 fee. Check it out at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. We do have lines open for you. Actually, we've got no calls, so we've got a lot of lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about cardiovascular health, heart health, if, you've got, if you're on a prescription drug and you want to wean yourself off of it, or if you've got questions about a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we'll get your calls in our next segment, 844-236-6010. So under conditions of B vitamin deficiency, you're more likely to have energy problems. You're more likely to be dealing with chronic fatigue. You're more likely to have uh, problems with the fast-moving, high-energy intensive systems in the body, the nervous system and the heart, also the skin and the immune system. B vitamin deficiencies are extremely common and, in my opinion, very underappreciated. Remember, these things are water-soluble. That means every time you go to the bathroom, you lose your B vitamins, you lose your electrolytes first thing in the morning. If you've gone to the bathroom a couple of times in the middle of the night, it's almost guaranteed that you're going to be depleted in your energy-producing B vitamins. Could that be one of the reasons? Could that be the main reason why we wake up in the morning fatigued? Try using some B vitamins first thing in the morning. See what happens, especially your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. I use my BTT first thing in the morning. I don't. I personally don't like coffee, but I never have a desire for coffee. First thing in the morning is the best time to do your B vitamins because we tend to be deficient first thing in the morning because of the loss of the B complex through, uh, during the night basically through urination. And also, by the way, the more water you're drinking, the more likely you are to be in a B vitamin deficient. Everybody these days is drinking lots of water, water bottles, and we're all told to drink eight glasses of water a day. Probably it's a good idea to be maintain your hydration. But remember, the more water you drink, the more you're going to the bathroom, the more you're going to be depleting your body of the B complex of vitamins. The BTT is a great source of the B vitamins. In fact, I consider the Beyond Tangy Tangerine to be like a B vitamin drink, basically. There are great ways to get B vitamins from foods. The best food sources of the Bs, the B complex, are going to be foods that were recently alive or part of a living system somehow. Eggs, meats, especially organ meats. Organs are the workhorses of living beings, of living beings, kidneys and brains and, and liver. Uh, and these organs contain lots of life force and lots of B-complex vitamins. Veggies, of course, are also a good source of the B-complex. However, as soon as these foods are removed from their living nature, as soon as the vegetables are picked or the meat is slaughtered, the B vitamins tend to be removed, or the B vitamins tend to uh, uh, volatilize. They tend to disappear. The B vitamins are living vitamins, and as soon as that vegetable is picked, or as soon as the meat is slaughtered, or as soon as the animal is slaughtered, the B vitamins begin to dissipate. That's why you want to eat your foods as close to alive as possible. Processed foods, in particular, in particular, have very little B vitamins, and that's why these needed to be uh, need to be added artificially, synthetically. 
When food processing began, or really food, uh, industrial food pro processing began, we've always processed our foods. Human beings have always, have always ground up seeds and, and, and grains, etc. So processing has always occurred. But when food processing really began in earnest industrially, particularly, particularly industrial flour milling, in the 1930s and 1920s and 1930s, as our technology became advanced, inevitably the B vitamins were lost, and this led to really strange nervous system diseases, nervous disorders, and also eye problems. And pretty soon, uh, this was in the pre-vitamin days, or at least we didn't really understand what vitamins were, but we knew that when we processed flowers and uh, processed grains, all of a sudden, people were starting to get these weird nervous system disorders. So it was determined by nutritionists that fortification would be necessary if these foods were going to be effectively sold as commodities, if processing could ensue and food could be sold as commodities. And of course, the smattering of synthetic vitamins that they added were only enough to prevent uh, uh, full-blown nerve diseases. And not coincidentally, rates of cancer, heart disease, and diabetes started to rise really at, an, at the incredible pace that we're, uh, we're experiencing today, right around the time foods began to, uh, food processing began. Pretty much the 1920s and 1930s is when our epidemic of cancer, our epidemic of heart disease, our epidemic of autoimmune disease, our general epidemic of poor health began right around the time we started to process food. And in my opinion, it's more than coincidental that B vitamin deficiencies and electrolyte deficiencies and, and the loss of these very highly energetic nutrients from foods via processing uh, came around at the same time. It's more than a coincidence that food processing, uh, our, our, our technological advances in terms of food processing occurred just about the time uh, the scourge of cancer, heart disease, and neurological disease, and neurological and immune disease diseases began as well. It's not a coincidence in my humble opinion. Thus the importance of eating large quantities of living foods, live foods, oysters, yeast, algae, sprouts, as well as formerly living foods like organ meats and veggies, as well as dairy and eggs, particularly if you are less than healthy, particularly if you're dealing with an energy crisis chronic fatigue, you just don't feel well, or if you have cancer or heart disease or a neurological disease or an immune disease, it becomes super, super, super important of eating uh, to eat live, living foods or formerly living foods. And by the way, not only does processed flours and grains and bars and, and, and boxed foods and cereals and otherwise packaged goods, not only do they not contain enough of the B vitamins for us to be optimally healthy, but these kinds of foods actually cost us B vitamins because the body's got to use its precious nutrients, its, its precious Bs, to digest and assimilate them. The digestive process is an in energy intensive process. So the digestive process, stomach juices and the movement, the, the muscle movement of the intestine and, and the, of the intestines and the digestive tract, the secretion of other digestive juices like bile, all of these require B vitamins. And if they're not coming in from the foods, your body's got to use its precious resources. That means that subsisting on packaged goods, subsisting on processed foods, and some 60 to 70 percent of Americans, eat, or I should say 60 to 70 percent of the calories that Americans eat come from these processed foods. Not only does that, do these kinds of foods not provide us with nutrients, but they cost us our precious B vitamins as well. So if you're going to eat these kinds of foods, make absolutely positively sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine as well as eating at least a little bit of, uh, of B vitamin dense foods like vegetables, eggs, uh, organ meats, etc. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Back on the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side, and we do have lines open for you. We'll get your calls here uh, momentarily. If you're on hold, hang on, 844-236 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products or longevity business or anything we're speaking about here today, or if you just have a comment or success story you would like to share, 844-236. 6010 is our number on the bright side. We'll get your calls here momentarily. From uh, the Washington University School of Medicine, protein-rich diet may help soothe 
an inflamed gut mice-fed tryptophan, which is an amino acid that's found in high protein foods, develop immunity that uh, fosters a tolerant gut. That means if you're dealing with any uh, kind of digestive health problem that affects the intestine, ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, if you just have food intolerances, calming the gut down by using protein-rich foods can be very helpful, particularly bone soup bone broth or even bone broth protein. Bone broth protein and bone soup not only contain amino acids which can help soothe an inflamed gut but they also contain cartilaginous factors. Factors that are found in cartilage and amino acids that are found in cartilage that have immune boosting properties. More protein is always a good idea but you gotta be careful with protein because too much protein is not good if you're not using the protein. This is kind of a one of the uh, poorly understood, at least by the mainstream, at least by uh, by by lay people, one of the one of the um, most misunderstood ideas in nutrition: the fact that protein gets turned into sugar and then into fat and very efficiently. If we're not using our protein, if we're not out in the gym or we're not recovering from surgery or we're not growing and repairing as when we're young and we're trying to eat a lot of protein, such as uh, one would do in the paleo diet, that protein is going to very efficiently get turned into sugar. It can throw off your blood sugar, and then after that, that protein can very efficiently, or that sugar uh, that comes from the protein can very efficiently be turned into fat. So if you're going ketogenic or you're going paleo and you find that you're having a problem losing weight or you're getting fatter, probably you're using too much protein or you're not use or you're eating too much protein or you're not using that protein to build muscle so either reduce your protein intake or get yourself in the gym ideally get yourself in the gym and always do your protein when you come home from the gym as well it'll facilitate the use of that protein or turning that protein into muscle from uh, let's see here this is from uh, from uh, the uh, Stanford Wilderness Medicine, I guess that's Stanford Wilderness Medicine published in the Emergency Medical Journal, pain reliever linked to kidney injury in endurance runners. What pain reliever were they talking about? Well, plain old Motrin, ibuprofen. Ibuprofen, it turns out people who take uh, ibuprofen or Motrin while running very long distances double their risk of acute kidney injury. That's according to a study done by the Stanford University School of Medicine. There are no benign drugs. Sometimes we're, we're a fooled into believing that if you can get, a, prescri uh, get a, a drug over the counter that you don't need a prescription for a drug, that somehow it's benign, somehow it's gentle, somehow it's safe. Not true. Any prescription drug is going to be toxic. The body and specifically cells have a menu they eat from. Yes, your cells have a menu they eat from, and guess what? That menu is 3.5 billion years old. First cell appeared, and nobody, nobody knows how cells appeared, where they came from. That's another mystery, in the, uh, an evolutionary mystery. How do cells just spontaneously appear? In any case, it's thought that cells appeared 3.5 billion years ago, and those cells that existed 3.5 billion years ago eat the same food that cells eat today. They haven't changed their menu. And guess what? There's no ibuprofen on the menu. There's no prescription drug on the menu. Anything your doctor gives you is not on the cell's menu. Anything you buy in the drugstore, even without a doctor's prescription, is not on the cell menu. And if you put stuff into your body that's not on the cell's menu, toxicity is inevitable. That's the very definition of a poison. A poison is a substance that's not on the cell's menu. A poison is a substance that the body has to get rid of quickly. If you've ever experienced digestive distress or bloating or gas or heartburn or, or, uh, or, or a diarrhea or, or cramping after you've taken a prescription drug, what you've experienced is your body trying to eliminate that prescription drug. Drug companies know about this, about this uh, a tendency of bodies to eliminate prescription drugs. Uh, they call it first pass effect. And they have to account for first pass effect by raising the recommended dosage on their medicines. Body doesn't want drugs, whether that drug is something you buy over the counter or whether that drug is something you buy by a prescription. And from a, from a poison or toxicology standpoint, there really isn't a lot of difference between an over-the-counter drug like ibuprofen and a prescription drug. In fact, ibuprofen comes as an over-the-counter drug and it comes as a prescription drug depending on the strength of the medication. Point being, if you're, doing, if, you're, uh, if you're ingesting a drug, whether it's over-the-counter or whether it is uh, a prescription drug, toxicity, i.e. side effects, are inevitable, whether you notice them or not. 
Just the fact that the body has to eliminate the ibuprofen or the, or the uh, Nexium or whatever the drug is that you're taking that you buy over the counter, just the fact that the body has to eliminate it tells you that it's costing you and your body precious resources. Nobody gets better. We only get worse by using medication, period. Do you need medication sometimes? Yes, you do. I understand this. I'm a pharmacist. I study these things. Yes, I know you need medication sometimes, but rarely. And if you're on a medication, your number one health challenge and health goal should be to wean yourself off of it. And the best way to wean yourself off of it is start yourself on a good nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach and available through Longevity. Call 866-735-2470 if you want more information on the Longevity products. Okay. 844-236-6010. I th- let's do one story. One more story, and then we'll get your phone calls. This is from uh, the journal, the uh, Australian journal, Anthrozeus. I think that's how you say it. Anthrozeus. Free-range eggs seen as tastier, more nutritious, and safer. Uh, study finds people who choose to buy free-range eggs or cage-free eggs because they believe they taste better and are better quality than eggs from caged hens. New research published today suggests. Eggs are amazing, amazing foods. They're a true power food. Arguably, they are the single most powerful and important food any human being can ingest. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Now, I'm not going to go so far as to say eat 12, eat 12 eggs a day, but certainly taking, doing an egg a day, it, it's a, it, you can think of it like a nutritional supplement, a food-slash-nutritional supplement. It's so densely packed with good nutrients. But there's all kinds of different types of eggs. You got cage-free eggs, all right? Cage-free sounds great. The birds are not raised in cages. It sounds wonderful. The problem with cage-free eggs is they're still packed together. They're still packed in close quarters, and this, is, this accounts for a lot of the problems associated with eggs. Chickens don't want to be packed in close quarters. Chickens uh, have stress hormones, too, and being packed in close quarters spikes their cortisol. And this makes them have a greater tendency to get sick, and that's why they got to use antibiotics. So just because an egg comes from a cage-free bird doesn't mean it's coming from a healthy bird. Uh, the other kind of eggs are free-range eggs, and this is a little bit better. Free-range eggs are, uh, come from hens that are allowed to go outside. The problem is they, can only, they only need to go outside for an hour a day, and then they can be kept in the cages for the, the other 23 hours to be, for them to be deter, uh, called free-range eggs. So just because an egg is called free-range doesn't mean that the chicken is spending all day uh, out on the farm pecking on worms and, bird, uh, 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 worms and bugs. And that's what chickens eat, by the way, worms and bugs, which is why the third type of egg is really such a – is pretty darn silly, and that's vegetarian eggs. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010. I'll continue when we come back from our break. And then we will get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. Don't go away. Okay, we're back on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. I just want to finish up here uh, with our discussion on eggs, and then we'll get your phone calls, 844-236-6010. So uh, the, the main kind of eggs that you're going to find in the uh, grocery store are uh, – are going to be uh, free-range eggs, which are supposedly eggs where where the bird gets to gets to bop around the farm a little bit. Problem is nobody really knows how much it gets to bop around the farm, so uh, that doesn't really tell you much. Eggs are uh, chickens are supposed to eat bur- uh, bugs and worms, uh, and supposedly anyway, free-range eggs can eat more bugs and worms than grains. Cage-free eggs doesn't really mean much because eggs uh, chickens are still packed together. Uh, and they can still be uh, uh, still be subjected to antibiotics and vaccines. Uh, so I'm not really a big believer in the whole cage-free thing. I would be going free-range. The best eggs are going to be pasture-raised eggs if you can find those. Good luck. Don't be uh, don't be deceived by uh, farm fresh eggs. That's a silly term. That just means it's a regular egg. I don't know what farm fresh means. Uh, pasture eggs are going to be the best. Organic eggs are also going to be good. Organic eggs are still uh, organic. Uh, organic eggs still come from chickens that are eating grains, though. Uh, so they're not as good as the pasture eggs. Ideally, that's the ba- that's the way you want to eat your eggs. Uh, eggs that come from pasture chickens, chickens that are just roaming around the pasture, eating as much 
uh, worms and bugs as they like. Those are going to be the best eggs. Of course, those are going to be very difficult to find. Uh, regular eggs, you're taking your chances if you do regular eggs because we just don't know what's happening to those poor chickens. Uh, and, and that's just, that's, that's a really big problem, how we raise our animals. Eggs, uh, theoretically, should be super, super valuable food. Theoretically, that is. And unfortunately, that's the way our food supply is. And you just got to, we got to do what we got to do. And that's why nutritional supplementation is so darn important because of what we've done to our food supply over the last 150 years. Do you know there's not a single food that we eat today that existed 150 or 200 years ago? Even vegetables, the vegetables we eat today, uh, given the way they're grown, the soils that they're grown in, are a different type of food than the food, uh, than the vegetables that existed 150 or 200 years ago. There's no food that we eat today that existed 150 years ago. And the human cell that is subsisting on these foods is 3.5 billion years old. That alone tells you why we're so darn sick, and that alone tells you why it's so important to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. IMO, in my opinion. IMHO, in my humble opinion. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Let's go to Irene in San Diego. Oh, shucks. Irene, call back. I just hung up on you. I'm so sorry, Irene. Irene Health for has been holding on all morning. Irene, call back. I'm going to get you first up. Larry, uh, I'll get you right up. Larry in Indiana, good morning. What's going on, buddy? Good, good morning. Um, I got uh, blood pressure medication. Larry, Larry, are you there? I don't yes, see I'm here. Is Larry there? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's going on, Larry? How can we help you? Okay, I'm getting to that. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm trying to um, tell my blood pressure echoing really bad. Uh, you got to turn your radio off, Larry, if you're having your radio It is off. You still got an echo? <laughs> yeah. Why don't, you, why don't you ask your question, and then I'll let you go, and then just listen in on the radio. Okay. I think it went away. It, it okay. just went away. Okay. Go, go ahead. Um, I'm trying to um, control my blood pressure, which tends to vary to the very high side uh, okay. sometimes, and it goes back to normal. Uh, then it goes to borderline normal. So I've, I'm trying to, I was approved to get a um, non-invasive um, heart therapy where they use big pressure cuffs on your legs, where they it's squeeze the blood around bonehead. your body. You tell your doc, whoever's recommending that is a bonehead. It's a biochemical problem, not a mechanical problem. That's a stupidity. Stupidity with a capital S. Quote me on it. And if whoever's recommending that wants to get on the air with me, I'd love to tell him to his face. Okay, here's the deal. It's a biochemical problem. It's a metabolic problem. It's a chemistry problem. Your chemistry's off, and your body is under duress. You don't want to compel or force your body with a device uh, to, to drop the blood pressure. You want to tell your body it's safe, and there's several ways to do it. Instantly, if you want to lower your blood pressure instantly, take a hot bath, all right? It's not gonna, you're not going to need any, any non-invasive devices or any drugs. Take a hot bath. Anybody out there with hypertension, take a hot bath. It'll drop your blood pressure like a stone. Now, it'll go back up again, but you'll demonstrate for yourself how powerful life strategies are, lifestyle strategies are, for changing your metabolism. That's the first thing. Secondly, slow, deep breathing. This tells the body everything is okay. It activates the rest and relaxation, parasympathetic nervous system. Again, it will drop your blood pressure. Thirdly, make sure you're using nutrients. B vitamins, especially niacin, will help lower your blood pressure. Electrolytes will help lower your blood pressure. Vitamin C will help lower your blood pressure. Magnesium will help lower your blood pressure. Omega-3 fatty acids will also help lower your blood pressure. Fourthly, stay away from inflammatory foods, particularly sugar. And see if you can, you said your blood pressure goes up and down, and that's, kind of, that's actually good news, Larry, because that means you're doing something. And what you want to do is you want to see or isolate a specific kind of behavior, whether it's a food or whether it's something that's going on in your life somehow, uh, and link it to the, the, the elevation in blood pressure. Keep a food diary. That can be very helpful. After you eat a, a pro-inflammatory or a food that, uh, a pro-inflammatory food or a food that causes some kind of digestive distress, your blood pressure will tend to go up. Any kind of stressor will raise the blood pressure. But to use a device, whether it's invasive or non-invasive, to lower your blood pressure is just absolute boneheadedness. You know, it's just people who are either trying to take advantage of you or who don't understand metabolism and chemistry. Is that helpful, Larry? Or they want to put you on a drug. And, uh, uh, is that's there the a, worst. a least damaging drug to lower there, blood no. pressure? 
Negative, no. sir. Negative. Negative, negative, negative. There ain't no drugs that are benign. The, the, the most benign are the diuretics, but you're going to lose your magnesium, which is important for lowering your blood pressure. That's how stupid the right. drugs are. Yeah. Right. It, there's no gentle drugs. But a hot bath, deep breathing, or hot shower, I should say, or deep breathing, the B vitamins, as well as um, omega-3 fatty acids and magnesium, et cetera, and then eliminating problem foods, particularly sugar, is the way you want to go. All right, I'm going right. to try and get a couple more calls in. Larry, thanks for your call. Appreciate it, and I uh, hope we helped you out. Let's go back to Irene. Irene, I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry I hung up on you there. What's going on? Oh, that's okay. I have the, the same issue. It's with my mother. She has high blood pressure. And she's on the drug Losartan. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here's the, I mean, did you hear me talking to Larry? I'll, I'll repeat yeah. it here. Yeah, yeah I did. And, so, and, and, and I by did. the way, there's no benign drugs. Losartan is not a benign drug. They used to give you uh, uh, Losartan, um, they used to give you uh, Losartan when, uh, as, a, as, a, as a, uh, a last resort or as a second resort. They wouldn't use it by itself. They would use diuretics first, and then when the diuretics didn't work, they would give you the Losartan. Uh, the problem with prescription drugs is you're going to always be dealing with side effects and burdens and stresses on the body. Um, Losartan, by the way, is, is like, uh, it works with the kidneys. It helps lower, uh, lower uh, a, a, a hormone called aldosterone. I don't know if you've heard of this, but a hormone called aldosterone, which is a stress hormone. It's involved in sodium. It doesn't really matter the mechanism. The fact of the matter is it's a drug and it's toxic. Deep breathing, number one. Hot water and hot showers, number two. Make sure you're using your B vitamins, magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, uh, ultimate niacin to lower the blood pressure. Also, electrolytes can help too, potassium and sodium, and as well as calcium in addition to magnesium. And then staying away from problem foods, particularly sugar. That's your four-part strategy for lowering blood pressure without a doctor, without a drug, without toxicity, from the comfort of your own living room and bathroom. And that's the way I prefer to do health, from the comfort of my own living room and the comfort of my own bathroom. Does that make sense? Why would oh, we want to go? Oh, absolutely, right? from absolutely. The, from I the mean, comfort of your yeah. home. All right, I'm going to try and get one more call in, Irene. Anything else? With, uh, with the sugar, should she avoid fruit and um, what's included? Fruit's a little tricky. Probably not. Not a, you know a little bit of fruit here and there. Fruit contains uh, sugar that's tied up with uh, or bound together with phytonutrients, and so the fructose in fruits is not as problematic as just straight sugar that you get from processed foods or soda pop or even fruit juice. But right. still, you know, it, you know, you can do without a lot of fruit. Maybe half a banana or half an apple. Why do we have to eat the whole apple? You right. know, fruits today are bread to be super duper sweet. So what you do is you take an apple and you slice it into quarters and suck on a quarter like it's a, uh, like it's a candy. And the best part of a fruit is always going to be in the peel, or at least close to the peel. Okay? Okay. And when you were talking about processed foods prior, does that, that includes bread, right? Oh, big time. Big, big, yeah. big time. There ain't no use. For, there, there's not a lot of benefits to bread. If it's whole, you know, if it's fresh whole bread, uh, you're going to get a little bit of a nu nutritional value, particularly fiber, if it's a good, good type of bread. But y you really don't need it. There's no upside. There's not a lot of upside to bread, even though it tastes yeah. good. I, yeah. I keep telling her she, to get off of bread, and she's like, no, it's fine. So, uh, <laughs> Have her talk to me. Have her, give, have her give me a call. Okay, thanks, Ben. All right, Irene, take care. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. You guys got a call at the beginning of the program. That's what I'm always saying. Hate to leave people on hold. Anyway, uh, if you, we let you on hold, call back tomorrow and uh, tell our call screener we let you on hold. We'll get you first up. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out the Longevity products. And please sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team by calling 866-735-2470. And also take a look at our Truth Skin Health products. Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Transdermal Sea Balm at truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now.